But beloved, do not forget this one thing that with the Lord, one day is as a thousand years and a thousand years is as one day. Oh, is that awesome? Is that awesome? By the way, did you guys know the author of Second Peter got that from the book of Jubilees? Usually in the scriptures, when you're reading the Bible, usually when God shows something to somebody that's fresh and new, usually that person says, God showed me a vision. Like it says so many times throughout the, uh, the Tanakh. The, the prophets, you know, I, the word of the Lord came to me saying thus and thus and thus and thus. The vision of the Lord, the, the burden of the Lord, the oracle of the Lord came to me. And this is what I saw. But the author of Second Peter doesn't say that. Why? Because he did not get that directly from a vision of the Lord or a word of the Lord. He got that directly from the book of Jubilees. Let me show you. Jubilees chapter 4, verse 29. Adam died, and all his sons buried him in the land of his creation, and he was the first to be buried in the earth. He lacked 70 years of 1,000 years, for 1,000 years is as one day in the testimony of the heavens, and therefore was it written concerning the tree of knowledge, on the day that you eat thereof you shall die. For this reason he did not complete the years of this day, for he died during it. That means a day is as a thousand years and a thousand years is as a day. So when God said to Adam, in the day that you eat of this tree, you will die, he meant with before that thousand year mark comes up. You, will, you have to die before you become a thousand years old. Therefore, he died at the perfect 70 years minus a thousand. And therefore, he died in the day that he ate of the tree. Okay, so that's where the author of, of uh, Second Peter got that concept from. Again, how do I know? Uh, let me give you a little bit more evidence to show you how I know this is where the author of Second Peter got this whole, whole idea from. Number one, we know, as a matter of fact, that the book of Jubilees was in circulation in the Holy Land in the, in the first century when the author of Second Peter wrote. Second Peter. How do we know that? Because the book of Jubilees is found in the Dead Sea Scrolls, right alongside all the other books of Scripture. Again, number two, the author of Second Peter does not say explicitly, the Lord gave me a vision and he showed me a new concept. He showed me that one day is a thousand years and a thousand years this is one day. You know, he didn't say that. He didn't say, thus saith the Lord. The Lord spoke to me and I heard the voice of the Lord and the voice of the Lord said this. No, no, he didn't say that. He quoted Jubilees. That's what he did. He quoted Jubilees. Isn't that amazing? You think about the culture of this. In the first century, the book of Jubilees was considered scripture by many people, by many people, okay? So this kind of thing, for 1,000 years, are as, as one day in the testimony of, of the heavens, and therefore was written concerning the tree of the knowledge on the day you eat thereof you shall die for this reason he did not complete the years of this day for he died during it second peter chapter 3 verse 8 but beloved do not forget this one thing why you shouldn't forget it because you guys know the book of jubilees it's it's common knowledge with you guys it's found right alongside all the rest of Scripture. You know, you read it. You're, you're well familiar with this. Just don't forget it. That with the Lord, one day is as a thousand years, and a thousand years is as one day. The Lord is not slack concerning His promise, as some count long-suffering toward us, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. That's it right there. That's always been the heart of God right from the very beginning. Right from the very beginning, that's always been the heart of God. That is the purpose of it all, guys. That's the purpose of everything. 